Hello, and thank you for joining me here today. My name is Karishma Panwani, and I'm the Director of Academic Product Management here at MapleSoft. Today, I'm going to introduce you to two free products that were designed specifically to support teaching and learning of mathematics from high school to the end of second year university. During this presentation, you'll have a chance to see both products in action, learn about new features, and even get a glimpse of what's in store for the future. MapleLearn is not a simple calculator. It combines several features that give you the ability to work through a problem step by step, just like you would in your notebook. But unlike your notebook, you can ask MapleLearn to perform tedious intermediate steps for you, display a graph to get a better sense of the problem, do a quick side calculation to double check an individual step, and even verify your final result. If at any time you need to show your work to your teacher or someone else, you just have to send them a link to your MapleLearn document. Voila! No more sending pictures of your notebook hoping somebody understands your messy writing. With MapleLearn, your teacher can add comments, which include text and math, right into your document and send it back to you for review. The Maple Calculator is a powerful math solver that lets you enter math expressions using your camera. It also has a built-in editor so you can type if you prefer. It supports a wide range of math problems. As you can see in the video, it can perform several types of operations on your expression, such as factoring, solving, integrating, and much more. If you're struggling to understand a specific math concept or would like to improve your math solving skills, the app will provide you with steps for a resounding number of problems. The app supports 2D and 3D plots, making it easy to visualize your problem. Finally, and probably one of my favorite features, is that the app is linked to the Maple Learn, so you can take a picture of your handwritten problem, all the steps, and import it into MapleLearn with a single click. Just make sure you're assigned into both the calculator and learn using your MapleSoft account and login credentials. If you don't have a MapleSoft account, you can sign up for one directly through the calculator app. Oh, and it's completely free. When you open a new MapleLearn document, this is what you will see. Your working space is divided into three main areas. On the top, you will find a toolbar which includes a wide range of palettes for entering functions, tables, matrices, units, etc. In the middle, you will find what we call the MapleLearn canvas. The canvas is the area you will use to work through your problem. Finally, on the right, you will find the plot window and the intelligent context panel. The plot window will provide you with plots of any expression within a group. While the context panel, which changes based on the expression and focus, can be used to perform a variety of operations pertaining specifically to that expression. Math in MapleLearn exists within groups. As you can see, you can use a mixture of typing, the toolbar, and keyboard shortcuts to enter your expressions. Groups can be placed anywhere on the canvas by double clicking. Groups can include math, text, and even a plot. Lastly, groups can be moved anywhere on the canvas by dragging the gray vertical handle that appears to the right of the group number. This allows you to organize your work in a way that makes sense to you and the problem you are trying to solve. If you are like many students and like to solve part of your math problem on paper, then you can simply use the Maple Calculator app to take a picture of your handwritten content and import it into MapleLearn in just a few seconds. The context panel allows you to perform common mathematical operations based on the expression entered into a cell. To apply an operation from the context panel, simply put your cursor on an expression and click on the button for the desired operation. You can use the intelligent context panel to factor, expand or simplify an expression, to complete the square, to calculate a derivative, and so much more. The live plot window, which is located above the intelligent context panel, displays the plots for all of the expressions within a group. The plot seen in the live plot window change as you move from one group to the next. On the right of the plot window, you have features to zoom and scale the plot. Use the special points button to reveal intersection points, intercepts, maximums, minimums, and holes.
When you click on a cell, a light bulb appears to the left of it. This provides access to the Quick Actions menu. It offers a choice of common actions to perform, such as parameterizing variables, assigning an expression to a variable, or even excluding equations from showing up in the plot window. MapleLearn offers a number of geometric primitives. You can add a point using the point command and specifying the x and y coordinates. In this example, I created a movable point by parameterizing A. You can create a segment between two points using the segment command and add labels to the endpoints using the label command. You can also use the segment command to create a polygon, like so. You can create a vector between two points using the vector command and a circle by using the circle command and specifying the center coordinates and radius. You can even create an arc by adding the plotting range to the circle command. A list of all the commands can be found in the Maple Learn example gallery in the How Do I section. Whether you are at home or in the classroom, there are many ways you can use these products to help you. You can use them to take notes, to complete your homework, to practice a concept, to explore a topic, and so much more. Let's look at each of these use cases in more detail. Use MapleLearn to solve a problem step by step just as you would on paper. With MapleLearn, you can explain your approach to solving a problem as well as include any side calculations. In this example, I'm going to use MapleLearn to solve the following word problem, step by step. First, let's rearrange the ages given into an order set. The mean is the sum of all the ages divided by the total number of ages. In this example, it's 11.8. The median corresponds to the value in the n plus 1 over 2 position. That's the value in the third term. And by looking, we can tell that the mode is 13. We can verify that we got the correct answer using Maple Learn's Intelligent Context Panel. Just apply the operation median and mode to the set. Now this was a simple example. If you're working on a harder problem and you are stuck, you can easily ask a friend, tutor, or even your teacher for help by sharing the document with them. Just write a message giving them details on where you are stuck and click the share icon. This will generate an exact copy of your document for them to review. Alternatively, you can turn to MapleLearn for help by looking at the detailed step-by-step -step solutions that are provided when you click on a corresponding context panel operation. Now don't forget that at any time you can use your phone to take a picture of your handwritten solution and import it into MapleLearn. The MapleLearn example gallery includes a number of documents to help you explore a topic. You can view the example gallery by clicking See All Examples from the Examples menu. The example gallery currently has over 600 different examples to choose from in a number of different areas. As an instructor, you can use the examples as a starting point for customizing your own MapleLearn documents. If you're looking for an example on a specific topic and it's not in the gallery, please let us know. We have a team of content creators who would be happy to build something specific to suit your needs. Now given how quickly the example gallery has evolved since we've launched MapleLearn, you won't be surprised when I tell you that we are currently working on adding search to the site. By the time the conference comes around, this site should look very different. Now let's take a look at two of my favorite examples. This is a great example because it proves through illustration that a line passing through the center of a circle and the midpoint of a chord will always be perpendicular. Since I'm a visual learner, the words on the page only clicked when I was able to use the slider to move the point on the curve and see the line color change from red to green when it crossed the midpoint of the chord. I chose this next example on linear regression because it highlights many of the features available in MapleLearn to help students explore a concept. In this example, a table is used to plot the points UV. If I move the points on the curve, the values in the table automatically adjust. The regression is calculated using the context panel operation. In this case, the context panel inserts a command that can be changed to allow you to calculate a polynomial regression of degree 2 or higher. I can use the data in the table to manually calculate the regression in group 3. Notice that the answer in group 1 and group 3 are the exact same. 
If I want to plot the line calculated from group 1 on the live plot in group 3, I just need to assign it a variable. The line R and Y overlap as expected. Another thing about MapleLearn examples that I find so useful is that in many cases they can act as a starting point for meaningful discussions that help a student go further. In this example, we can start seeing what happens if we choose a polynomial regression as opposed to a linear one. To do that, we just need to change the regression command and look at the curves in group 3. Looks like a polynomial regression of degree 2 results in a better fit. The gallery also includes several interactive practice style documents in different areas to help you master a specific concept. These documents are great because they can be used to generate new problems, provide feedback on your solution, enumerate the correct solution, and in some cases can even pinpoint mistakes. As a teacher, you can assign practice documents to your students to help reinforce concepts. Practice documents are one of several types of MapleLearn documents that are generated via scripts authored directly in Maple. Scripts allow you to leverage Maple's extensive math library and programming capabilities. Through scripting, you can make pretty cool interactive documents. If you're interested in learning more about scripting, I encourage you to attend the talk on scripting given by my colleague, Paul DeMarco. Here's a few example documents created via scripting. I chose these to give you an appreciation of all the things that you can do. Scripting can be a bit tricky, so if there's a document that you want to create, please let us know. Our team of content creators will be happy to oblige. This interactive practice style document was built to ensure that students know how to derive the equation of a line from two points. Trying to get the yellow line to align with the blue segment is surprisingly fun and challenging. A student can use the canvas to calculate the slope and intercept. They can then check their answer, get the fully worked out solution, or try another problem. Because of its freeform nature, MapleLearn is a great environment for solving word problems. But why stop at a single word problem when MapleLearn can generate multiple? In this example, the Try Another button will populate the same question with different values. This helps the student build confidence in solving this particular type of problem. Moreover, this example showcases another feature of scripting, and that's the ability to get feedback on where you made a mistake. In this example, I purposely made a mistake so you could see the feedback that was generated when I clicked the Check Answer button. Notice that the script told me that my derivation was correct, but that the mistake was on line 2. In this next example, a student uses the MapleLearn canvas to solve the following problem and notes the answer in group 2. Notice that I'm using the light bulb to get the decimal approximation. I had to click on the light bulb because the script was authored such that the calculated results weren't visible unless requested. In addition, notice how the context panel is closed in this example. Scripting allows you to customize whether the context panel is open or closed. Scripting allows you to customize the work environment for your students to ensure they are learning in a systematic way according to how you are teaching the class. I chose this next example so you could see how scripting could be used in a multi-part question. In this case, the student is able to check their answer for each question. If they're stuck, they can click on Get Answer and or Request a New Question. In the following two examples, I wanted to show how scripting could be used outside of practice problems. This example, authored via scripts, calls upon Maple to display the distribution for a set of grades and returns the mean and variance. Pressing the Calculate button updates the plots and the values. Lastly, in this example, I use scripting to generate a direction field plot. If I change the differential equations and press the plot button, a new direction field is displayed. Hopefully these examples show you the power of scripting and how it can be used to structure and customize the learning environment for students. The best way to get a feel for MapleLearn and the Maple Calculator is to start using them. To access MapleLearn, navigate to learn.maplesoft.com. Then check out the example gallery to see all the things you can do. Don't forget to download the Maple Calculator app. You can use it on its own or to upload your handwritten work to MapleLearn. And then start solving.